people, it's Pedal Guy here. How you doing? Today what we're going to do is we're going to work with the amp output of the Trio Plus Band Creator and Looper Pedal. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow us so you can stay up to date with all of our activities. All right, well up till now, we have only been using the mixer output uh, from the Trio Plus. Now there is a second output that we are going to make use of in this video today, which is the amp output. And interestingly enough, that means that it's supposed to go out to the amp, uh, as luck would have it. So there's a couple of different ways that we can use this. Um, for example, if we wanted to send everything out to the amplifier, we could do that. However, this would also mean that the drums and the bass from the Trio Plus are also going to go to the output, uh, the amp output. So that means that if there's any overdrive in the amp at all, it's going to, it's going to uh, overdrive all of those signals. So that may or may not be the way you want to work it. What I suggest doing is I suggest using the mixer output specifically for the bass and the drums because this will keep it clean. That'll go to the mixer um, and you can make your adjustments from there. Concurrently, you want to take the, uh, the other output here, the amp output, and this is going to go off to the guitar. Now it's important to note that once you plug in that amp output, once you make use of that, while this one is also plugged in, that means that the guitar will not go out through the mixer output, only through the amp output. That's kind of like the smart routing feature of the Trio Plus, uh, which makes it very, very uh, viable and makes it very versatile, I think was the word I was looking for there. Um, and that will make your mixing sound that much more realistic. Um, now, keep in mind, of course, if you're in a space constrained situation where you can't drag an amp around with you, this is a perfectly viable option just to go from the mixer output to your mixing console because there's cabinet simulation built into uh, the output for the guitar part of the Trio Plus. However, if you do have an opportunity and it presents itself to use a real amp in your setup, I'd highly recommend it because I think you're going to agree once you listen to our demo that it sounds remarkably better. Okay, so now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and do a demo. All right, we've got our trio plugged in. We're using both outputs, as you can see, uh, and we're going to uh, teach the, uh, the trio our part. Uh, we're doing that with a delay pedal, and we're using both uh, the uh, mixer output, which is going to the mixing console, and that's handling the bass and the drums, and then we're using uh, the second output, uh, the amp output, which is going to our guitar amp, which is then being mic'd and sent back to our mixing console. So we have a good uh, separation between the, dra the, the drums and bass and the guitar. So here we go. Okay, so we've got our part ready to go there. Um, it's playing back. It's uh, pretty close to what I'd like it to be. And the reason I did it with the delay so that I can, so I can play something, a rhythm behind it that we're gonna loop and it'll be locked into what is playing back from the drums and from the bass. So let's go ahead and make that happen. All right, well, we've got our drum, bass, and guitar loop done. So at this point now, we're gonna go and uh, look at why we're doing it this way. Um, as, a, as I've mentioned before, it's up to you on how you wanna mix your signal with the Trio Plus. I just find that this sounds a little better for my usage, 
um, to have an actual amp in the process rather than use cabinet simulation coming from the Trio Plus. However, I'm not trying to sell you on it either way. It's up to you. That's the beauty of this product. You can choose either or. It's fine. Um, and uh, what we'll do now is we'll play back what we've uh, recorded and performed here, and then I'll start making some changes by first showing you what it sounds like without the amp and then with the amp so that you can hear for yourself. So what we did there is I unplugged the guitar amp output from the Trio Plus so you could hear the cabinet simulation kick in. Then I replugged it back in. And then I used the mixing console to then move the guitar playback, the loop playback, into different places in the stereo field. So we can create something that sounds more interesting and more real, right? And I think that's the beauty of, of what this product does. Um, at this point now, if we want to, say, uh, solo over it, we can do that. Um, why don't we go ahead and do that? So maybe in this time, I'll go ahead and kill the delay this time, um, but I'll use everything about the kitchen sink here, and uh, let's have a little fun. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, I could sit around here and noodle all day, but uh, uh, I think basically we just wanted to prove the point that this is a very viable option for uh, users that want to really create, I think, a much more realistic sounding mix with the Trio Plus and their pedal board. So uh, for more information on this pedal and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.